90 seconds. Use the mic. 90 seconds. There's one on the floor if you can't reach that one. Sorry, thank you. Good, Vanda Holyfield looking for the purple. I appreciate you. How y'all doing today? I know I'm dressed like I'm dead, but I'm coming from a funeral right now. It's all good. My cousin died. I'm sitting there smoking a joint. My mom walks up on me. You know how parents are. You ever seen the movie The Water Boy? Bobby Boucher's mama, everything is the devil. My mama said, weed is the devil. I said, mama, you ain't gonna come an OD off of weed or something. You will. I said, I won't. She said, uh, well, what are you about to do? I said, I gotta go to work. Drive safely, baby. I said, okay. I said, damn, mama, I'm 48 years old. You treat me like I'm a little kid in front of everybody. I don't like that. She was like, well, you are. You're my baby. I said, okay, that's cool. So last night, I was thinking about this audition. I was all nervous. I went to bed. Wasn't thinking. Well, I peed on myself. And when I peed on myself, I thought I was dreaming. So you sitting there and you sleep, you in that deep sleep, and you wake up, you go to the bathroom. You peeing, oh, I feel so good. About four in the morning, I felt this warm sensation, and then it got cold. So I said, oh shit, I peed myself. So I woke my wife up, get up, Marie, get up. She said, uh, what's wrong? Oh, I said, get your ass up, I just peed in the bed. I got up. She got up. She said, oh, I'm itching. I said, yeah, that's what happens when somebody pee on you. I said, I didn't mean to, but I did. She said, well, don't let it happen again. Go sleep on the couch. I said, no, I'm going to go sleep in another bed. She said, well, that's fine. I said, okay, that's fine. But you know, out here in Ivy City, I run into strange people because I'm a special police officer. So I'm out here yesterday. Brother walked up to me. Hey, Officer Morton, can I holler at you for a second? I said, yeah, what's up? He said, I'm trying to get a girlfriend, man, and you seem like an upstanding good dude. What should I do? I said, well, you talk to the woman, treat her right. He said, well, this motherfucker pulls a page out. A 1986 beaver. I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm showing you, man, when I get this girl, man. I said, man, you better get your ass to the store, get a track phone, Obama phone, or something. You think a woman gonna beep you back? It ain't no pay phones or nothing no more. Ain't nobody letting you use no phone, man. You know where you at? He said, oh, I never thought of that. I said, well, think about it, you dumb mother. I stopped, because I couldn't help the brother. The brother acted like something was wrong with him anyway, but it's all good. Because I found out later on that he was one of my family members. He was at the funeral today. I got some crazy ass cousins, y'all. But yeah, all my life, I said to myself, what should I do with my life? I want to be a comedian, a stand-up comedian. They said, well, why? I said, because. You're just standing up. You're unemployed, but you're standing up. It's all good. They said, well, you need to get I your said. stuff right. I said, so I'm going to move to D.C. They said, okay, where you moving from? I said, I'm moving from Virginia, up in the country. You know, I'm tired of being in them hills. I moved down here. Some of the people down here are so nice, but a lot of them down here are rude. I'm like, well, where you from? I'm from North Carolina. My family from North Carolina, South Carolina. I said, well, where in the hell? Oh, you cut me off? Big head bastard. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is, these people down here on the move, I'm trying to tell you. Oh man, you got it right. But look, thank you for listening. My name is Nemo the Late Bloomer. Talk to y'all later.